CTE, the danger of football. In this video, I will talk about CTE and the danger of it, especially in football. I had three questions to start off that I wanted to know about CTE. My three questions were, how many people in the NFL actually suffer from CTE, former and current players? Do the new helmets that NFL players use help? What are the effects of CTE? These questions are important to me because my dad and many of my uncles played football in high school. One of my uncles made it to the NFL. My first question is, what are the effects of CTE? There are four stages to CTE. The first stage consists of minor headaches. Stage two consists of depression, mood swings, and also headaches. Stage three is known as the first sign of memory loss. It also has the same symptoms as the earlier stages, but worse. Stage four is the last stage. People at this stage have cognition problems and memory loss. Some end up having dementia. Also, people experience loss of attention and concentration. You won't actually know for sure if someone has CTE unless you do a brain scan on them after they are deceased. My second question is, are the new helmets that NFL players use actually help? One of the first use of football headgear was dated in 1896. It was used by a college football player to mainly protect his ears. One big innovation from the early 1900s was hardened leather. In 1917, that was the first time it was raved, raised above the head to prevent more head injuries. It was widely used in the NFL in the 1920s. The pads in these leather helmets were insufficient and had a little production. It also lacked face masks, so there were many face and head injuries during this time. In 1939, the Riddle Company started making plastic helmets for the NFL. They felt it would be safer than leather. The helmets were much more comfortable and had more padding. It wasn't until 1950 until the helmet was used and it prevented much more injuries. New technology over time has allowed the plastic helmets to become much safer, although it hasn't completely prevented concussions. How many people suffer from CTE, current and former NFL players? For current NFL players, no one is sure how many people actually suffer from it. We think the rate has gone down since concussions have also gone down since the implementation of these new helmets. For former NFL players, they did a study on 111 deceased NFL players, and 110 of them had some sort of CTE. Because of these staggering numbers, the NFL implemented a lot of new rules to protect players. Since 2002, there have been 47 rule changes and counting. This also started happening the same year when CTE was officially discovered and found out that many NFL players had it. One player who showed signs of CTE throughout his life is Aaron Hernandez. He showed symptoms like depression, aggression, and anxiety. He took his own life on April 19, 2017. A post-mortem brain scan was done on him, and it showed he was suffering from CTE. I hope this video made you aware about CTE and how life-changing it can be to people, especially football players. Thanks to all of you for watching my video. Have a great day.